So I'm here on this beautiful heavenly place, Gran Canaria, taking a hike with some friends. Um, they are currently hiking a bit further up the mountain while I just record this quick insight because I want to record things when it's fresh and I've been here spending time with some amazing people, um, enjoying nature, enjoying the weather, um, sweating a lot, as you can see. Uh, getting a lot of inspiration because this is such uh, like a fertile ground uh, looking at the crowd is that we are specifically with so we are with people who are really interested in doing the work so a very personal development oriented uh, group of people here I feel very lucky to be to be one of them to be here and I've really literally gotten so many insights over the past days and so little time to write them down uh, mostly busy with participating in activities um, and just having amazing conversations. So, but this is one very concrete thing that I can share and I would love to share it with this background <laughs> um, before I go again. So I just had a conversation with uh, my good friend and uh, he actually said something which reminded me of, so he said, I feel triggered and I this, this specific situation triggered me and I don't, I'm not supposed to, it's not supposed to trigger me. I'm not supposed to be triggered. Um, you know, because I'm supposed to get, already be past this. I'm supposed to just be here enjoying uh, my vacation. I'm not supposed to get into this trigger. And that's when I realized I've been actually having the exact same, um, exact same, error in my thinking because when I arrived here I actually had a very strong trigger and I at first I was barely aware that I was triggered I just felt unrest unrestful I felt anxious I felt um, a heightened awareness of people's perceptions of me so I was everything I did I felt like I was aware of how it came across and I was spotting like subconsciously or not subconsciously but like a, a part of my mind was always keeping track of who is impressed by me currently who likes me who doesn't like me uh who thinks i'm good who thinks i'm bad who thinks i'm cool who thinks i'm not cool who thinks i'm attractive um and it's really messed with my ability to just be in the present and just be here enjoying everything um and i couldn't really get rid of it so one thing i tried was to just and this is actually a good tip so this really helped it didn't take me all the way there to being over it, but it really helped is to share it openly. So we've had uh, some sharings here. It's like a sharing circle where you share what's going on. And I've really put a lot of effort into being honest, like <laughs> being honest. And even about the fact that I still, even though I'm being fu fully honest and being exposing myself, being fully vulnerable, still hoping that it impresses someone hoping that someone likes me because of how honest I'm being <laughs> and even being honest about that so that was one insight that or it was actually a, a bit discouraging that I'm still not over this need to impress people or this desire to uh, come across a certain way I thought I thought I had done the work on this and I thought I was over it and I clearly was not so that was a bit discouraging and then I tried to just be that version of myself that I knew from the past, like just be that very open, loose uh, version of myself that I've, I've cultivated and I've, I've gotten to in many other situations. And because I was trying to do it from a place of not being there already, I was trying to do it just because I, I felt like I'm not supposed to be this, I'm supposed to be that. There's this state in the, in the past somewhere that I know I can be and I'm just gonna try to force myself to be there because that's how I'm spo supposed to be. Which comes down to the same thing, is the assumption that whatever is happening for you right now is not supposed to be happening. Uh, for the spiritually inclined, uh, basically a disagreement with God. So, and I wasn't aware of this, I was just, having this persistent anxiety, persistent um, interruption of my clear thoughts. Like um, I felt my, my thoughts were bouncing a lot. I felt my eyes really bouncing around a lot. It was hard to focus on a specific uh, person. Even it was hard to make eye contact. 
um, for a longer period of time. And I felt my eyes constantly wanting to bounce, wanting to track who is impressed by me. Am I losing social status? Am I being uh, perceived properly? And this is a trauma response. And I tried to suppress it because I wanted to be here. I wanted to be in this group. I wanted to uh, just enjoy this vacation, uh, be inspired and not be bothered by this stuff. Um, so basically I disagreed that this was the right thing to come up. <laughs> and it took, actually it took the conversation today to fully come back to the insight actually that I want to share is that no, this is actually the perfect thing to come up because what better situation to show me what I need to work on than uh, a vacation that in a group setting triggers exactly um, what is still unresolved in me, what is still trauma, what is still uh, brings up unresolved memories from the past. Uh, yeah, so now I finally, I finally accepted that basically this is probably the point of it. This is probably the point that this is happening right now. It should be happening. This is showing me what I need to work on. You know, in the same way that uh, Peter Crown likes to say, life will present you with situations to show you where, where you are not free. And that's exactly what is happening uh, right now. And from the right level, you can always appreciate that however uncomfortable it is, this is exactly the right thing for you because this is showing you exactly what you need to work through. So to work through, I've done it by doing shadow work on myself. I've had people guide me through shadow work. I've done it also uh, on myself because I, I do know how to do it. I do have a process for it. Um, but luckily there's also multiple people here who have different ways of, of doing the work. So another insight that I, I do want to share is that instead of trying to get uh, to a certain perfect situation, which is very outcome dependent, it's much more helpful to just actively look for things that trigger you, that make you feel very uncomfortable and then working with those triggers. So it's a combination of practice and, and inner work. Practice, inner work. Practice what makes you uncomfortable, then do the work on it. Re release those triggers, um, do that shadow work that you need to do or that inner child work that you need to do or um, whatever really kind of works for you. Shadow work is a very broad topic. I'll go into it uh, more in other videos. But also just doing shadow work, you can get stuck because then you're just working on things, um, getting insights about yourself that are not really related, like less and less related to your daily life and what you really want to do with your life, where you really want to be, what you want to achieve, what you want to experience. But the combination is very powerful of uh, seeking things actively that you want, but would trigger you. So it's like going into that discomfort, like this is my comfort zone, this is where I don't want to go, this is my... This is my comfort zone, I'm gonna cross that until I feel very uncomfortable, until I get the trauma response, until I feel like I can barely be in the moment and it feels very imperfect and it feels very, like it's not supposed to be there, but on a certain way, in a certain level, you can realize it's actually, that is the way it's supposed to be. I'm seeking these triggers out and then doing the work so that those same triggers don't bother me anymore. And that's basically like leveling me up or that's enabling me to be more powerful, to seek out more experiences, and have a greater capacity to integrate, great, greater capacity to carry pain, carry discomfort without getting uh, swept away by it, without getting taken away by it. So maybe, maybe that is helpful. Um, I've realized that I've now done this entire video without any concrete <laughs> examples. And that's uh, because people here might see it and I might share things that are, uh, other people would not want me to share. Um, so I'll just keep it very general, like my, my specific trigger. Uh, okay, first I'll say like in group settings, it's always been the perfect way for me to trigger things that are unresolved. And a past trigger that I've had before when I went on retreats or was in group settings in a certain way where we spent multiple days together, was that I, the fact that I had nothing or the idea, the feeling that I had nothing to contribute and I felt totally unworthy. And it would just make me super insecure and would barely allow me to have a normal conversation with someone 
because I felt like I have nothing to add to this. You guys are always, are all so much more advanced than me. And what am I doing here? Like, what are you even getting from me? I'm, I'm getting so much value from you. What are you even, what are you even getting from me? Um, I have nothing to add here because everyone seems so much more advanced than me. I don't even feel like I have anything interesting to say. Um, if you resonate with that, maybe it helps that my insight around that was that presence alone is value. So me being present with people alone adds to the experience of other people, even if I say nothing. Um, and you can verify this for yourself, that it's just very nice to be in company, ex especially company that um, is focused and is present with you. That just adds to everyone's experience. So the more present you can be, the more value you provide. No matter whether you have something interesting to say or not, no matter whether you, whether you say anything or not, uh, let alone whether you have like concrete things you can contribute. Uh, even without any of that, just you being present with others makes them feel better. It makes them, it, it adds to their experience. So you can feel worthy and valued just by being around and putting some of your attention on this shared moment with other people. So I think that's it for this video. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope, uh, and if you resonate with this, please comment, please comment down below. Uh, that really helps the algorithm. As we all know, um, give it a like, uh, subscribe. Yeah, that's it. And see you in the next video.